This is a tutorial for the TI Innovator Hub and the TI Inspire CX Series Calculator. This tutorial is an extension session for the free 10 minutes of coding lessons available from the Texas Instruments website. In this session, we connect and use the Ultrasonic Ranger to capture distance measurements. Mounted in the bumper bar of modern cars, you'll most likely find a collection of ultrasonic sensors. These sensors use an inaudible frequency to measure the distance from the sensor to the object. On cars, they're used to detect objects that may not be in clear view. In general, they are used to create a mathematical representation of the physical world around us. To connect the Ultrasonic Ranger to TI Innovator, use the ribbon cable supplied. Plug one end into the sensor and the other into either input 1 or input 2 on the TI Innovator Hub. Connect the TI Innovator Hub to your calculator. Create a new document and insert a new program. I'll call my program Ranger 1. Unlike onboard devices, TI Innovator does not know what is connected to any of its physical ports. So, before using the Ultrasonic Ranger, you must include a line of code to make this connection. From the Hub menu, select Connect Input and choose Ranger from the list of input devices. It is possible to have more than one Ranger connected, so we need to identify them. This Ranger is connected to IN1, so I'll label it 1. We need to state where the Ranger has been connected. It is plugged into input port number 1, so my line of code needs to include 2 IN1. The Ultrasonic Ranger is now ready to be used. Our next line of code instructs the TI Innovator Hub to capture a reading. From the Hub menu select Read and locate the Ranger command. Remember to include which Ranger you are reading, in this case Ranger 1. If the program was now running, the TI Innovator Hub would record the measurement. However, we also need to get the measurement from the TI Innovator Hub and store it on the calculator. From the Hub menu, select Get. And I'll store the result in D for distance. Now if the program was running, the calculator would have a copy of the distance measurement and decisions could be made based on this value. However, we often want or need to display the result. So, for the final step in this first process, I'll display the result on the calculator screen. From the Input Output menu, select Display. The program is now ready to run. Press Ctrl followed by R and hold your hand about 20 centimeters above the sensor. And then press Enter. Now hold your hand about 30 centimeters above the sensor and press Enter again. So that's the basics covered. A loop can be used to capture multiple readings. Select the three commands related to the readings. Note that we do not need to include the original instruction about the connection, as the sensor location and identifier have already been set. Using a for loop, I'll generate 25 readings. Run the program again and move your hand up and down above the sensor and notice how the readings respond to these movements. That's all for this introductory tutorial. In the next session, we'll see how to store the readings. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel 
so you can be kept informed as new sessions are added to this series. 